Sneaky Linux back again in the house. I'm in the house with Akita Linux Beta 9. Right, Akita Linux I've done back in February when it's a Beta 6, I think. And basically, it's basically based on Puppy 4.2 series, okay? But it's compatible with Weary 5.1 with bits and bobs and two different repos, etc., etc., etc. Now, when you first boot into it, you don't actually get all this. You get a basically blank screen and you have to go to the app stuff. And so, what I'm going to do, if I go to programs, and we go to Akita Setup. Once you've done the basic of setting your screen resolution and your window manager, etc., this is what you get up, okay? So what I did, the first thing is I went to desktop icons. Do you want to enable rocks? Just a do, we've done that anyway. Right, and I've picked for traditional or full desktop icons and traditional and icon for each partition. So that's traditional puppy. Traditional, that's six times I said that. Ooh, yeah. But you can go for minimal or bare with none on the desktop at all, or custom if you've got a saved profile. Okay, so we cancel that. Next, you also go to choose your browser. Now, I've installed Chrome by default, okay? But you have to install your own. But you get a choice of Chrome, Dilo, eLynx, FireDog, Firefox, Firepub, Flock, IceCat, Lynx, Lynx, Midori, Opera, Qt Web, SeaMonkey1, SeaMonkey2, or Tor for hiding away. Oh yes, I'll click on tour. As you can see, it's still 25 megabytes, but hey, what do you want to know? Okay, from here you can do lots of other stuff as well. Get to the package manager. But if you click on the Flash installer, Flash 11 is already installed, so that's hunky dory from me, so that can go again. Let me know that. So click that there. It'll come up in a second. The Flash is already installed or something like that. Anyway. anyway, you can go straight to your package manager from here too. So say you want to install something, you can. You get some different repositories. We get Akita, Wary 5, Puppy 4, Puppy 3, and Puppy 2. Whether you want to use some of these older ones is another thing. But being this is based on 4.2, you might want to. So there's plenty here for you to install if you want to. Right? You also get a filter as well for doing stuff. So if you scroll down, there's some games in here. Quite a few games, actually, from the old days. Oh, yeah, old days. Claws is in there for Claws Mail, because there's no mail client as such. Even though you've got mail here, there's no mail client as such. There is no Abbey Word either. No, you have to install your own. So it really go up a bit. It should be Abbey Word there somewhere in the ads, shouldn't it? But I can't find it. Oh no, what are we going to do? We'll go down there. Should we go to the Weary 5 repos? We might find it down there somewhere. Go down there. Ah, here it is. And we have Abbey Word. 2.8.5, well, we'll get that one to do us, wouldn't it? Shall we do that? It shouldn't take too long since it's Abbey Word, okay? Okay, that's what we're going to do. So we click on Abbey Word. It's going to check out for us. It's processing it for us. And some of you are saying, why are you doing this again? For the simple reasons, some of you new people don't know how to do it. Especially if this pa get package manager looks different from some of the other puppy stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's all changing now in puppies, you know, especially with Saluki and all the others. Then we've got Up Up coming along and more from Precise. There'll be a new Mac pup along the line too very soon as well, so you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Now in theory, I can just go away from that and go and do something else, which is what I'm going to do. Now as I told you earlier, I've actually installed Chrome, okay, or Chromium. Now, if you want to get it, if you go to the Puppy Linux discussion forum and find a key to Linux Beta 9 ISO, he can tell you all about it here. I'm not going to read through it all for you, you can do that all yourself. But as you can see, it's based on TurboPup from 420s. Still uses the old 2.625.16 kernel and SFS version 3 because it's pre woof. Okay. Execute Firefox 0, 7 0.11. That was the early one. If you go right to page 43, you see all the new stuff that's gone down. Okay. And this is where you can download it from. It's only 91 megabytes. And if you want to compile for it yourself, the SFS for that is only 113. So it might be one to play with if you want to play with compiled and stuff, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, we should do. Okay, that can go. It's still doing stuff. Now, if I go down to menu, this is the usual puppy stuff, okay? The usual. So if I go to info, we should get HTOP here. There we go, and we'll see what's going down under HTOP. Now, as we're doing 100% CPU, I imagine it's doing lots of stuff for me. So it should be installing my Abbey Word, okay? I'm going to leave that running, shall I? Yeah, because I'm only using a single core machine today, as you can see. But can you see, I'm only using a 44 megabytes of RAM. Oh yeah, nice and small. Back in the old school 420 days. Reminiscent and all that. Okay. If we go down to setup, 
a kit is set up again, but you can do the same stuff as you did before. You also get the pup apps control launcher and apps launcher as well. Remember that? Yes, let's come back in this one. Under wizard, you get all the usual wizard, but you've got a bit of an XSE look if you're going down here. If you know what I'm saying. Of course you know what I'm saying. Oh, hang on. Something's happened here. Oh, that took its time, didn't it? So let's see if we can find that package here, for instance. We go to Holland. Yes, it's there. Then I do want to save a copy of the file save. No, I don't want to save a copy of the pet. So I'll click on no. And in theory, it's going to start installing it for us. While it's doing that, we'll go back to what I was doing, shall I? Yeah, I'm going to it. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot about that. Back to NL. Some dependency it needs. No, I don't want that. Here we go. Yeah. I shouldn't have to save the pup manually, should I? When you think about it. No. Yep, it's done. No, I don't want to save that in downloads either. Have I got any more to do? Please say no. Checking more dependencies. No. See, normally we do this in pet. Oh, sorry, pup. Pet, pup. Pussy cat. Pussy dog. Whatever it's like. Normally, when you do this, it all does it for. No, I don't want to save it in there. Please don't ask me because I don't want to save the pet all the time because it just makes my life so larger and everything gets nice and big. Okay, that's all installed now. We're getting there. No. We'll wait a bit longer. A bit longer. It's quite a long drawn out so place. It wasn't like this last time. I'm sure it wasn't. Or did I install anything last time? I can't actually remember. But this is what you have to do. Okay. Hunspell. We've got to download now. Let me do that. No, I don't. Let that install for us again and again and again. So it's all taking time and it's a bit of time that we haven't got sometimes. While it's doing it, I have a quick drinkage. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> Well, in theory, we should be installed now. So we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. <clears throat> Gone down to 37 megabytes. I'm around 36. Is it going to go any further? Uh, no, it's going to stay around 36 of memory usage. So in theory, if I go down to menu, I go down to documents. Da -da -da text. Da -da 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 -da. There. No, I can't find it. Where's it gone? Is it under business? No. Will it be under? Right. I bet it won't be. No, it won't be. Still having to turn it up. Shall I? Let's see what happens. Okay. Would have spelled it right, wouldn't it? What a plonker. There it is. So I need to get the link in to my browser icon. Okay, so I'll make it nice and large for you. Now it's not going to be the most up to date one, but it will do what it says on the tin. It's 285. Remember in the 29 series now. So don't worry about it too much. That was quite long and drawn out, wasn't it, really, when you think about it. By the way, if you can't get a program to run, if you do run it in terminal, it should start, okay? That's as any pub, really, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go for it really quickly there, so there's not much here. Under planning, you get Osmo P, Crypt P, Log. Under network, we get dial-up. If you've got old dial-up stuff, some of you may be wanting to run dial-up. I don't know. Can you actually get plans for that now? I found a freebie number a while ago, but like it just takes so long to load graphics under dial-up now. It's not really worth it, is it? And the file transfer, you get plenty there. Look, and the www, www, we get e-links as before, and Google Chrome, 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 and XChat and WSH, GUI secure mode. Login. But under multimedia, you get best put a dead B for a music player, which is all right, I suppose. PC Dripper or PCD Ripper, let me put it. An equalizer, CD player, and P Music. And editor, you do get bacon. That's all right. Yeah, I like me bacon, especially with a bit of egg. Music is redone there, as you can see, and media. You get also mix that double F convert is also here by default. Now, this would be the weary one, I imagine. So, let's have to wait a little while and we'll see. Installation takes around about a minute and a half, two minutes, then do a bit of grabbing. About three minutes in total. Double F convert 1.3. So, you should be able to convert all your files to any format you want. So, if you're having trouble with some video codecs, just chuck in the live CD, or on the other hand, put it on a USB key. Excuse me. And do it that way. All tickety boo, hunky dory. By the way, I've just changed the default screen because the last one was quite horrible. Sorry about that. I've done it, but it was. Anyway, I'll quickly go back to the programs. There's a favourite manager there. There's not a lot here compared from control panels and stuff. I've been through it already. But it's coming on all right, but you still need a little bit more workage, I think, really, for me. It's like when it kept asking the questions, do I want to save the pet file? Well, no, I don't really. Or just ask me at the end, just one answer, or one question. Do you want to save the pet files from me? Or ask me before. And I can say yes or no then, can't I? But having to keep doing that all the time just makes the experience not as good as it should be. Even though it's pretty super duper fast, quick. Look, do do we're there. Boom. So I'm going to go to Puppy Links there. Just click it once. Boom. You're there. It's really, really fast to use once you get going. 
Bearing in mind most of the time it's raining RAM anyway. So yeah, Uncle Dory, super duper. Akita Linux 9 Beta. As it's a beta, I shouldn't really rate it. So I'm not going to, because otherwise that would be unfair on some of the others. But hey, I could be really nasty and rate it, but I'm not going to be. But it's alright. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.